Just like a messy teenager's bedroom, the space around Earth is starting to get filled up with junk. But unlike a bedroom, we don't have someone to come along and tidy up behind us or nag us until we do the job ourselves. Ever since the earliest days of space exploration, debris has been left behind orbiting around the planet. With human activity increasing in space, more and more debris has been left behind and it's now a real and serious threat to orbiting spacecraft. This debris ranges in size from disused satellites down to tiny flecks of paint and it's estimated there are over 170 million pieces of space debris orbiting around the planet. Now some of the more interesting pieces of junk include gloves, spanners and even frozen clumps of urine dumped from orbiting spacecraft. In fact, Apollo 9 astronaut Russell Schweikart said the most interesting and beautiful sight in orbit is a urine dump at sunset. This debris could be traveling as fast as 8,000 meters per second. That's roughly 17,500 miles per hour. And at this speed, even a tiny piece of debris could rip through a spacecraft or satellite. In February 2009, a decommissioned Russian satellite collided with a US communication satellite called Iridium 33, completely destroying it and causing thousands of pieces more of space junk. Now, while this could have a huge collateral cost, the fear is that a collision like this could cause a chain reaction, creating more and more space junk, and this is called Kessler syndrome. This was actually the basis of the 2013 film Gravity, and the fear is that actually this could come into contact with spacecraft carrying astronauts, and this really does have the horrible potential for the loss of human life. NASA are tracking over 500,000 pieces of space junk that have the potential to damage or destroy orbiting satellites or spacecraft. And the International Space Station can have its orbit moved up and down to avoid potentially damaging pieces of junk. Now nations are starting to look at ways of not just tracking these pieces, but actually destroying them or returning them to Earth. The Chinese government developed a method using missiles to destabilize the orbits of satellites and return them to Earth so they harmlessly burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. But the fear is, amongst other nations, is that this method could be used to destroy working satellites that the Chinese government isn't in favor of. With civilization's dependence upon satellites for weather forecasting, GPS, scientific research, could the day come when civilization is brought to its knees by a tiny flicker.